it's Peggy Lynn Marchetti here at beautiful Madison Creek Farms and boy oh boy have I got a treat for you because it is the holiday season and everybody's bringing out all of their family recipes so I thought I would bring out one of mine and I'm bringing out Miss Loretta's peanut butter fudge. Now this recipe has been handed down to me. I've handed it down to my daughter and now I want to share it with you guys. My mom is a peanut butter fudge thing. So you guys come on back, stay with me, and we're gonna get to making this Loretta's peanut butter fudge. All right, so peanut butter fudge. I don't do a lot of candy. I don't make a lot of candy, but this is an exception. And it is the holidays, right? So we have to do a little something special. So what I wanna do is make my mom's peanut butter fudge. Now, she is one of those peanut butter fudge aficionados. This woman knows her peanut butter fudge. So it's gonna start with three cups of sugar right in the pan. And you really wanna make sure that you kinda got your pan on a medium heat, a kind of medium low to start out with. We're gonna add a cup of milk to that sugar. And then we're gonna stir. Now here's the secret to fudge, y'all. You don't ever leave it. It's a good arm workout because you can't leave this, not for a minute. It is all about stirring and temp. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna dissolve that sugar into this butter and it's gonna get nice and frothy. Mom calls it molten when it starts to molt up in the pan. Now, we didn't have, when my mom started doing peanut butter fudge, there wasn't any digital thermometers. She didn't, it was all by eye. She did, and so, and that's kind of how I learned was just to watch it in a little ice water bath maybe, see if it's got into a soft bowl. So you're just gonna keep boiling it, that's all. And you wanna check your temperatures because especially when you're out here, this little thing kicks on and off and on and off. So I wanna look. I can't tell if it's on. There it goes. Yeah, see? See what I'm talking about here? You gotta keep your eye on everything. So you just want to keep stirring it. Now, this I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup to. And I'm using crunchy peanut butter. Now you can use regular, any kind of peanut butter, but you can use creamy peanut butter. This is the chunky peanut butter because it's what I had. Now, my mom uses both, so I can use both. But the main thing here is that your sugar and your milk ratio is good. So three cups of sugar one cup of milk and you're just going to bring this up to a boil and you're not going to leave it you wouldn't leave the baby in the bath water you can't leave your milk and sugar it's muy importante and stir it because this will burn on you and you want to work really watch these temperatures too now you can adjust up and down high and low but what you're trying to do is you're trying to bring this to a boil and then we're going to add some butter we're gonna add some peanut butter. Yeah, this is this is the deal here. Whisk, pan, whisk, pan. Oh yeah. So now we're coming up into a boil here. So I will tell you that once this starts to boil, this is all about getting ready to get busy. So the first thing here is we wanna butter up this pan. So what this is gonna do is just, I'm just taking a half a stick of butter here and I'm just putting a lot of butter around my pan. It's gonna kinda keep our, our fudge from sticking. Rub it like you love it. It's just going to keep this fudge from sticking. And then we're gonna add some butter into this fudge. This is really a rich, decadent dessert. And you know, it's funny because the only person in my family that has a sweet tooth is my mom. My dad and Patsy and I, not so much. But my dad and, and my mother, my mother would get up in the middle of the night and make peanut butter fudge. The whole house would smell like peanut butter fudge. So that was just part of, you know, learning about how to cook, number one, because this, you gotta have a little bit of, you gotta, gotta work those muscles. But that was part of my mom's, the, the funny quirks about, you know, somebody in your family. Hers was peanut butter fudge at midnight. Yeah, 
That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna get this boiling up some more and we're gonna come back and we're gonna start putting in our peanut butter and getting this into this buttered pan. And then it's just a waiting game. That's it. Okay, so we have been cooking our sugar and our milk now stirring 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 for about seven minutes so we only have another couple of minutes i would think to go but you want kind of this frothy kind of color going on here and it's going to start to thicken up so i don't know if you've ever heard of this or not but back when my mom was making fudge and i've never used a candy thermometer either but you can so now see it's time so i know that this is getting ready this is just ice water and what and little ice water here and what i'm doing is i'm looking to see if this will form a ball almost we're almost we're almost there so keep stirring because once this starts to set man oh man you have to work fast so i'm looking for what's called like a soft a soft um a soft ball stage which is i'm 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 going to go ahead and grow with it because I think it's ready. So to this, a half a stick of good old fashioned real butter, real butter. Go ahead and mix that in here. Let it melt down. Turn this heat down a little bit. What that butter is going to do is kind of make that fall down. So all of that molten milk and sugar, that butter is going to cream it up so it's going to kind of fall down. This is when it's going to start thickening up again. Be, be ready. To that, I'm going to add, this is vanilla, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. To that, I'm going to add some good maple syrup. Not, 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 not that cheap kind. Get the good, good maple syrup. Really good maple syrup. Stir that in there, and then let's go in with our peanut butter. So just go ahead. This is a full cup of peanut butter. And like I said, you can use the, the, uh, the soft kind or the creamy kind. This is what I had in the house. This is, <laughs> this is the chunky, extra chunky kind. And I kind of like it. You know, we were talking about candy. And this just makes, uh, this just came to me. This makes all the sense in the world. One of my mom's favorite candies, and it was the first candy that I can remember eating candy bar, is a payday bar. She loved payday. And my mom, you know, my mom's a singer. And when we, she would go out on stage, before she'd go out on stage sometimes when she was getting her makeup ready or just waiting, she would eat a payday bar and I loved them and that's when I started it's like oh man I love these these are so good this reminds me of a payday bar oh my gosh this is why she loves payday bars it's because of her peanut butter fudge death all right so our buttered pan so what you want to do is get this mixture poured in because it is going to start thickening up on you. Pour it right into, this is an eight by eight pan. And you see here, let me turn to make sure this is completely off so I don't catch my hand on fire. You see where it's kind of thickened up on the side of your pan that you were cooking in? That's, that's what you want to see. You just get it all right there in your pan. Now, sometimes, depending on fudge, it's, if it's raining, it's gonna change how it, it operates. It's gonna change what happens to it, you know? I, that in my experience. So to this, I'm going to add some walnuts because, I mean, some peanuts. Not walnuts, peanuts. So I wanna do this real quick. So I'm gonna take, move this aside. I'm just going to take some peanuts. These are unsalted peanuts and just kind of crush them up with a bowl or whatever you have. Just kind of crush them up in pieces. 
This is this is exactly why she loved paydays. This is why I like payday candy bars. We're making the only thing we don't have is the nougat. It's all right. So you're gonna take those peanuts and sprinkle them right on top. Just right on top of this gorgeous fudge. Right on top, just like that. And then a little bit of salt. Hello. This, this is my mom's peanut butter fudge done up. This is the special, this is the special edition of my mom's peanut butter fudge recipe. And it is so absolutely beautiful and wonderful. And this is my mom, me and my twin sister. This is my recipe for my peanut butter fudge that I got from her in 1996. Mama's peanut butter fudge. And it's so funny because there's notes that I put on here. Mix sugar, mix the sugar and milk over medium high heat. Mom says use a good thick pan to cook this in and stir, stir, stir. Never leave the pan. <laughs> so anyway, this is, um, in this holiday season of Thanksgiving, and I just want, I'm so thankful. Um, so, in this holiday season, Thanksgiving, and all the things that we're thankful for, I'm so thankful that for recipes that are handed down from mother to daughter to granddaughter, and on and on because these are the recipes that live on they're the recipes that built me from my mom's peanut butter fudge to whatever what's your what is your family's favorite handed down recipe let me know comment below let's hear about it i'm thankful for another thanksgiving with my sweet mama so from my family to yours happy holidays and enjoy my mama's peanut butter fudge